Hey, what's good everybody? Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to add yanking plates to vehicles that don't have yanking plates. All right, so make sure you got a magic slot. Uh, if you don't know how to make a magic slot, I'm gonna leave a link in the description. And uh, so you can uh, go ahead and make a magic slot because you could do a bunch of stuff with it. So you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and get any random vehicle. I think all my cars got yanking plates. But for this video, to make y'all an example, I'm gonna go ahead and steal a street car and store it in my arena, all right? You don't got to do this if you got a scratch vehicle that you want to add a yanking plate to that's already modded but somebody went ahead and scratched it or, or whatever happened you could go ahead and use this glitch to go ahead and clean your car up all right so you can see uh i pulled that pedestrian now this is a street vehicle i'm gonna be making this from scratch i'm just gonna replace this fagio but yeah this was a street vehicle all we got to do it now is uh we're going to be glitching out our scuba tanks because we are going to be doing the glitch at the solo, um, at the auto shop that's solo, all right, my bad. So yeah, this is the street vehicle that I'm going to be using. As you can see, it is regular. I have no Yankton plate, none of that. Okay, this is just for example, if you got, like I said, if you got a vehicle that's already modded, you can go ahead and just use this glitch for that. All right, so we're right here by a swimming pool. You can go ahead and... Say it was scuba outfit. We are going to be glitching out our scuba tanks. Hover over hats. Once you jump in the water, there's no timing. Just scroll right, left. Okay, on hats. Now we're going to go to MC style or CEO style. And you can see we can drop scuba tanks if we scroll left and right on those styles. That is how you glitch out your scuba tanks. It is still working. <clears throat> so from here, we're going to go to our auto shop. Make sure you're in a public session. Make sure somebody has the same auto shop as you. If not, this won't work, all right? So yeah, we're in the public. Make sure somebody has the same auto shop as you. Inside our MOC, we got our magic slot, all right? I'm gonna go ahead and request that. This is where we're starting off at. That first part was just to show you that I'm using a street vehicle to put a Yangnam plate on that street car, okay? So I requested my magic slot, here it is. I'm gonna go ahead and drive up to the auto shop. I already know that this, um, Auto shop is being used by somebody. Somebody else has the same one. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out a grenade, okay? Pull out a grenade. Go ahead and throw it in the front. Just like this. Pull up to it. Once you get that option in the top left corner, press pause and then A. Then your car should blow up, all right? Now our magic slot is blown up. All right? So from here, we're going to request um, the car that you want to add the Yankton plate to, okay? So that street vehicle, that's the, the one I'm going to be calling, all right? So that was the first step. Blow your magic slot up. And I go ahead and request the I'm car that you want to add the yank to, which is the next step. So it was this one, the Delante, Delantante, whatever it's called. I'm going to cut it because it says next available request in 50 seconds. All right, so here we are. I cut it real quick. That's the delivery. Now, before you hop into the car that you want to add the Yankton plate to, you can either pull up your phone and then hop in it, or you could either open up your interaction menu and then get in it. All right, make sure you don't get in it before you do those steps. So, here it is. Here's that street vehicle I'm adding the Yankton plate to. Open my interaction menu, then hop in. Just like that. Now, we're going to go to the back of our MOC. Okay, right here. Make sure you follow all the steps correctly. Then I'm gonna drop my interaction menu. I'm gonna get a flashing screen that says auto shop full. Make sure, I forgot to mention, your auto shop is full of vehicles or this glitch won't work. All right, I hit my Xbox button. Now we're loaded into our MOC, okay? From here, we're gonna drop scuba tanks to block all doors, okay? If you got a two door vehicle, just block the two doors. But you can see this street vehicle has four doors. I'm gonna go ahead and block both, uh, all four of them. We're gonna hop. Um, we're going to stand by the back of the MOC where it says exit trailer and we're going to hit Y and A at the same time to teleport into the car and hop out of the car. I mean, you know, teleport out of the MOC. Boom, right there. We got a duplicate copy. Now this is our magic slot. Let's just go ahead and continue the glitch from here. If you need any help, just comment down below. All right, so from here, make sure you save your, uh, what do you call it? 
the car you just did. All right, so I was gonna do this, but then I remembered I didn't save it. So I'm gonna go ahead and return it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and save it in the MOC because that was the next step. It's real simple, you know. All right, go up to MOC, press right on D-pad. Don't do nothing, just let it go ahead and uh, save this vehicle. All right, now we're good to go for the next step. Let's go ahead and pull out. Now we could go ahead and do that that thing with the grenade at the auto shop, all right? All right, here we are, we spawn in the same spot. Let's go ahead and go over here. If you don't got an auto shop that somebody's been using or you can't find nobody, make sure you swap auto shops to a most, um, more famous one, all right? So this one right here always has somebody but for me, I'm going to go ahead and check to see if they're still here in this lobby. All right? I don't want to mess it up. As you can see, we got enter your shop or enter somebody else's. All right, so we're good to go. Let's go ahead and throw another grenade. All right, like that. Pull up to it. Make sure you get that uh, list on the top left corner. Press pause and then A. All we got to do is press A. After you do all that on the map, you should get a wasted symbol. Then we should spawn up again on foot. All right, just like this. Now we're gonna request a car that has a Yankton plate. All right, the Yankton plate is gonna transfer over to the street vehicle. All right, so we'll call my mechanic, call any of the modded cars because they almost they got Yankton plates. What I'm gonna call you one. Through to your garage. You, uh, need me to bring your doesn't ride? matter because the, the plate that's gonna be on there is the street vehicle's you. plate. All right, but if you have custom plates, you can just go ahead and add a custom plate. So I requested my car that has a Yankton plate that we're going to transfer over to our street vehicle. All right, it's just spawn up right here. Before getting in this vehicle, like I said, open up your phone or open up your interaction menu before you hop in. For me, I like opening my interaction menu. And then go ahead and hop in. As you can see, it's got a Yankton plate. It's got green tan and it's got a modded horn that's going to be transferred onto the street vehicle and also the Patriot smoke tire. All right, right here, pull up to your MOC, drop that interaction menu or close your phone. You should get another flashing screen that says Auto Shop Full. And then we're going to be put inside our MOC. From here, we're going to be dropping scuba tanks one more time. I chose this vehicle and it's got them suicide doors, but I'm going to show you that it still works. All right. If you're using this, if you're using a Deluxo, just go ahead and block the side doors. Just like if they were normal doors, all right? doesn't matter if they're, you know, you can still get in it, but... Just like that. Go ahead and block both doors. After you do that, I'm gonna test my teleportation by going to the back of the car, pressing Y, just to make sure I could teleport in there. As you can see, I could teleport. Now I'm gonna stand for the back of the MOC. Hover over exit trailer, press Y and A at the same time. We should teleport in the car and we should teleport out of the MOC with the vehicle, all right? From here, all we gotta do is go back to the MOC this is where there's timing involved, all right? Make sure you got your uh, your uh, settings already ready. So before you do this, before you press right on D-pad, go to, go to network settings if you're on Xbox, and get ready to hit go offline, all right? So right here, I'm gonna do that. I'm already in the settings back then. I just went back to GTA. Pull up to your MOC, press right on D-pad, hit your Xbox button, go ahead and go to settings, network settings, and hit uh, go offline. Wait about two seconds. And then go ahead and click go back online it should kick you to story mode and then once you're in story mode just join another public session if you want to duplicate this vehicle to keep a new copy or if you want to you know just give it to a friend have them give it back to you it's all good because magic slots do ever back to stock so this uh, is just to be uh in the meantime so you can go ahead and get stuff done in the meantime that is what a magic slot is used for you can see call your mortgage mutual call that car you exploded Oh, we got a, uh, what do you call it? We got a Yankton plate on our street vehicle that we started out with. We also got that green tent. We got that modded horn on there. And we got the Patriot smoke on the tires. So yeah, this is basically a modded car, but you know, technically the rims are not modded because we got no modded rim colors. So you cannot use this to make, you know, scratch vehicles. I wouldn't recommend it, even if it looks completely clean don't use this to make scratch vehicles this was just for example you know even though it looks pretty good <laughs> little street vehicle with a yankton 
but for you, you should be getting that vehicle that didn't have the anthem plate that you wanted to clean up and all that. All you had to do was call Moore's Mutual once you load it back online, request that car that was in your MOC, and then you should spawn up with the car with the anthem plate again, all right? So her now. From here, I'm just going to take it to the Santos Customs just to show you, just to mess around with it a little bit. See that green tint is really green on this car. But yeah, that's how you add Yankton plates to vehicles that don't have Yankton plates. Alright, if you like this type of content, make sure you subscribe, drop a like. See y'all on the next What's one. Peace. Now?